Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new Canary Channel Insider Preview build, 27764, which Microsoft rolled out yesterday on the 11th of December. And in effect, the Canary Channel now is where Microsoft is starting to test and hopefully stabilize features for next year's annual feature update, version 25H2. And I personally don't think we will see a Windows 12 uh, next year. But um, build 27764 is the early stages of what Microsoft is working on in regards to our annual feature update for 2025. Now, just a quick overview as to what's new in the Canary channel. And I've noticed, though, that the Canary channel hasn't been getting too many cutting edge, so to speak, new features. Microsoft is just busy kind of stabilizing things, which maybe is not a bad thing. Um, Add in a couple of little features that are trickling down and into the Canary Channel, and most of the, most of the features um, in the Canary Channel have already started making their way into the stable to some extent or the other. But nonetheless, just to keep you guys posted as to what is new in Build Two Seven Seven Six Four. Now, the first has already started making its way into stable, and when right-clicking on apps pinned to the Start menu, jump lists will be shown for apps that have them, such as PowerPoint in this example. And we already get that, um, you know, in the start menu, all apps and on the taskbar. But this is now making its way to your pinned apps, which I think is a nice move if you do use that feature. So basically, that's the the um, the main change and improvement when it comes to the Canary channel for this week. And then we get some dynamic lighting uh, improvements that have rolled out. And these, to some extent as well, have rolled out to... Uh, the stable version of um, Windows 11. I'm just going to mention these. They say that when no compatible devices are attached, the dynamic lighting settings page will now show a placeholder message and brightness and effects controls are disabled. So that would be these two, brightness and effects. And then on the dynamic lighting settings page, Microsoft says it's added forward, backward, outward and inward direction options to the wave effect and added the four direction option to the gradient effect so if you are using dynamic lighting i don't but if you do those could be some little uh, tweaks and adjustments in the right direction so to speak and then i'm just going to mention the uh, next one microsoft is beginning to roll out a change where it now hides the ime toolbar when apps are in full screen mode for those who have the ime toolbar enabled and type in a in type in chinese or japanese and then Narrator is getting quite a lot of attention from Microsoft, which I'm always in favor for because obviously it's an accessibility feature. And Narrator is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen where they've added new functionalities to Narrator scan mode. So skip past links in allows you to navigate to the text after a link. And this is most helpful when navigating through long emails, according to Microsoft news articles and wiki pages and jump to lists L allows you to quickly access a list on a web page or a document. So a couple of narrator improvements and then speech in Windows and narrator is part of that has received some improvements where users of narrator, voice access, live captions, live translations and voice typing might see a message asking them to update their language files manually. The language files will be released separately through Microsoft Store. So those are the kind of changes and improvements. The main one being the jump lists for the pinned apps on the start menu. And if you do want to stick around, um, there are a couple of fixes that Microsoft has rolled out if you do find yourself in the Canary channel. They fixed an issue causing some insiders to see a bug check with error, page, fault in non-paged area while using their PC starting with build 27754. And then the File Explorer has received a fix where Microsoft says they've done some work to help address an issue where File Explorer might hang when browsing a folder with lots of media in it. And then they fixed an issue on secondary monitors for left aligned. So if we just right click quickly taskbar settings and we head over to taskbar behaviors, as you may well know, you can left align your taskbar. Um, they fixed an issue on secondary monitors for left aligned taskbar users where the widgets text in the taskbar might overlap the date and time and i think that's already rolled out to the stable version and they fixed an issue where if pointer trails were enabled the mouse cursor may become visible with a black box behind it and then 
just three more to go. And then they fixed an issue with a task manager um, where some HDDs, hard disks, if we go to the performance section, um, were being incorrectly listed as SSD on the performance page. So I think that's just a nice little niggly fix that has rolled out there. And then they fixed an issue which could result in lag and screen tearing on secondary monitors with full screen windows. So quite a bit of focus here on secondary monitors. And then the last one, just to mention, they fixed an underlying issue which could lead to Excel sometimes hanging on launch when opening certain files. So obviously it is still early days. So Microsoft is trying to stabilize things in the Canary channel, which I think is a good thing. And because we are in very early preview here, yeah, there are three known issues which is common with these very early preview builds. So that's more or less, guys, what's new. In Canary Channel, build 27764, which rolled out yesterday on the 11th. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.